Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology, nice to see you back and we are back with another very interesting video on success in information technology, IT, career and how to know will you be successful in IT career or what kind of, uh, what level of success will you have in the IT field. So, there are uh, multiple combinations of course and uh, we will try to see some of them today and if you know some, some persons who have been extremely successful in IT background, then you can also look at their charts and you can also write it down in the comments uh, what kind of uh, success they have had, alright, and uh, what are the combinations that you can see in their charts you could do a, do a research and uh, if you ha have time then you can write it in the comments at least you can have a look at one single chart and write it okay we, we would be very happy to see your research all right so uh, this is the chart of a it engineer I won't call him as an engineer of course but he started his career in IT as an engineer long 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 time back and now this person has retired and uh, therefore uh, this person has been extremely successful he has he has been one of the uh, or I would say he had been one of the pioneers of uh, IT in in India and in uh, rest of the world also and therefore it's very crucial that we understand his whole scoop and we try to analyze what combinations led him to towards this level of huge success okay so therefore today we shall discuss we have the Lagna chart and the Navamsa chart also because uh, we always need both the charts to check what is to what extent is the uh, results are the results either good or bad manifesting uh, in his life from his past karma okay to what extent does he have free will uh, and to what extent does his life say that things are predecided okay so therefore uh, if you start checking the both the charts then you will see that uh, the Lagna Lords of both the charts are very strong okay so here Jupiter is the Lagnesh and he is exalted in the trine in the fifth house which, which is the best placement I mean as an exalted planet to be in trines and even here if you check Moon is the Lagna Lord Cancer Navamsha and this moon is situated in the 11th house of gains in the sign of Taurus which is again the sign of exaltation so whenever the uh, whenever the Lagnesh is exalted or well placed of both the charts then then also these the person has extraordinary caliber in this life to make the changes and make the right decisions and thereby impact hundreds and thousands of people lakhs of people sometimes millions also and interestingly if you check the chart then you will see this Jupiter which is the Lagnesh of the Lagna chart is also very well placed in the Navamsha he is in own sign in the ninth house again in trines fantastic placement to have and again this Lagna Lord of Navamsha is moon which is placed in Taurus in exaltation again so this moon is Vargottama you see it is in the same sign in uh, both the both the horoscopes okay both Navamsha and Lagna that is known as Vargottama uh, planet and Jupiter although it is uh, not in the fifth house or in Cancer but it is again in a water sign so the Tattva the element has been retained by Jupiter uh, because the tattva of the Navamsha and the Lagna chart uh, is the same, okay. So therefore, um, 
these these placements give a different level of uh, power to the person okay because of his past life deeds and good deeds especially so this separates the chart from the rest of the people and that is why you will see many people will have these yogas but uh, they will not manifest why because they are not very strong in the navamsha so therefore uh, it is highly crucial that we check the placements of both the ascendant lords in both the charts okay so we check jupiter here and moon here and then we check jupiter and moon here also okay and we see that they are very well placed and they are uh, they are extremely powerful and this person would have been successful in any other area of life also if you would have gone so therefore now we know that this person will play at a different level the level which he will operate is is uh, it will be like a dream to most of the people all right so that is not only a matter of career but in every area of life because it's the lagna law so therefore we understand that the level of success which this person will have will surpass everyone else all right and now we have to check what 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 is the situation of the lords of the 10th and the uh, 11th houses okay so we check the placement of the lagna lord and then we could uh, also check the situation of the lord of the second house and the sixth house so the lagnesh we already checked then we check uh, what about the second lord okay what about this uh, second lord who is the second lord it is mars and this mars is sitting in the 11th house of gains and profits and it is aspecting the fourth from there one two three four so fourth from here is the second house okay so the lagna law the sorry the lord of the second is in 10th from itself in 11th from the lagna and aspecting itself okay its own house um, therefore this makes the second house and the 11th house very strongly linked and uh, indeed it is very 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 powerful so if i have seen the lords of the second and 11th if they are exchanging each other's houses or they are in any kind of parivartan then this is one of the phenomenal placements that you could have for uh, success in career without a doubt and then we check what about the sixth lord so sixth lord is again sun which is again in the second house so the lords of second sixth tenth and eleventh sitting in each other's houses very good for finances especially so here the second lord is in eleven and the sixth lord is in the second then we check the situation of the tenth lord okay so the tenth lord is jupiter which is also the lagnesh and it is exalted in the fifth house fantastic placement to have i mean you can't get better than this and also the 11th lord which is saturn is again placed in the ninth house with some challenges of course in a difficult sign and with rahu of course that's not an easy placement but this can show that the person whenever required will get the necessary guidance from his superiors and his seniors and his gurus and his teachers uh, because of which he is eventually able to uh, carry on and be successful in life even though uh, there are a lot of difficulties which he might face in his life okay and um, this person had done his master's degree from a very 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 reputed college in the united states one of the best universities that uh, anybody could go uh, it's like a dream college for most of the people in this world to get into that college and he had the honor and the privilege to uh, go and do his masters there okay so and um, because this is with rahu so it shows in a foreign land okay and scorpio can show a place related to uh, water or lot of lakes or lot of seas or oceans nearby which is also true in his case 
and of course that is not enough we also have to check for it especially we need to check certain planetary placements okay so also one more thing if you see in this chart the 10th lord and second lord jupiter mars are mutually aspecting each other so this is also very strong yeah. both are exalted you see the 10th lord is exalted and the second lord mars is exalted in capricorn these are like uh, very rare placements to have these planets exalted and aspecting each other and so now we also have to check uh, the connection of the third house especially third house and planets like mercury and venus what what do they say so if you check properly here mercury and venus are undergoing a uh, a special form of yoga which is the strongest form of yoga which is known as parivartana yoga okay so mercury is in taurus which is the sign of venus and venus is in gemini which is the sign of <coughs> mercury they are in each other's houses all right <coughs> and i have always seen uh, for it career e irrespective of anything if mercury and venus are well placed then this yoga the, the, the person somehow tends to move into it why 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 because because mercury represents communication any form of communication it can be writing a letter and sending to somebody you know it can be signing a paper or giving a lecture but the moment you bring venus what is venus venus is luxury laptop computer mobile all these gadgets these are under venus the entire youtube industry is also under venus so therefore uh, it is like the person is communicating and making lives of other people better through using venus okay so therefore if mercury and venus are linked and um, if they are linked very strongly or if they are under parivartan which is the best then i have seen that uh, the person is very 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 good and skilled in the it field okay but that is not enough just to have mercury and venus there are so many people who will have mercury and venus well placed in their chart or they may be together also or they may have parivartan but that doesn't mean they will uh, they will necessarily be very good in it so what are the other placements which we should be observing when we want to see a great career in it of course so when we talk of it we are not just talking of some stuff like programming or you know, software engineering or data science we are talking of um, things in a way with um, of doing things in a way which can change the world and make the world a better place so therefore the person has to end up doing something uh, to solve a particular issue or a particular problem in the society and because of that the person becomes famous hmm? so therefore we must check the situation of the trines because the trines uh, will deal with innovation and innovative stuff you know and if the trines are somehow related uh, with the with the third house fifth house or ninth house because these are generally the houses of innovation three five and nine um, or the lagnesh or the tenth lord or the ninth lord uh, or, or sorry the eleventh lord is involved then also then only i have seen great great innovation coming okay so now if you see the lagna lord is in the fifth so the condition is satisfied the tenth lord is also in the fifth then if you see the uh, the 11th lord is in the 9th and the 9th lord mars is in the 11th okay so the 9th and the 11th are also undergoing a situation like parivartan okay and because the 12th lord saturn is also in the 9th so and rahu uh, also as the lord of aquarius so this person had his uh, higher education in a foreign country as i discussed or as we discussed earlier so the trial trines can deal with innovation and most important house for innovation is the third house mm -hmm. so if you check carefully here again the fifth lord the trinal lord is in the 
third house fifth lord is exalted here although it's a challenging placement even though it is exalted because it is in the rahu ketu axis and uh, it is also with mercury i have seen moon and mercury placements can be very good or very bad sometimes depending on the sign but here luckily moon is exalted so uh, i have seen generally moon mercury in taurus uh, giving very good results when it comes to finances and career and apart from that uh, because uh, of this parivartan yoga which is occurring so they generally they say if the parivartan yoga occurs then the planets uh, change the houses okay so it is like saying uh, this uh, uh, ketu moon and mercury are going to the fourth house and venus is going to the third house okay so in that case also the moon and mercury uh, along with rahu can uh, or ketu at times can represent innovation because um, ketu deals with those things which uh, which we have already achieved in the past and therefore we may get a feeling that no no i should achieve more something new which nobody has done in this life okay and this venus from here also aspects the 10th house which is the house of career and it is in dig bala so venus is the only planet in the kendra and it goes in dig bala so his ability to deal with uh, electronic objects or fancy gadgets is very good and uh, he's it's like uh, he's inborn natural talent is there okay but of course this this will be limited to it this will not move into vehicles or real estate which is the prime area of venus because uh, for that uh, we also have to check uh, how venus is in the navamsha of course and venus we see is not that greatly placed in d9 so the main area will be of mercury because mercury is again valgottam here if you see carefully you know again it is in taurus all three are valgottam here mercury moon and ketu and therefore uh, this primary domain will be mercury which is you know communication and he will be using venus which is gadgets and technology for uh, getting success okay so the third house is also very important the third house and 10th house should be somehow linked and the third lord is in the fourth in digbala and aspecting the 10th house this shows that uh, traits of the third house will be coming naturally to his career which is very true and third house is the house of it but just 10th and third linked uh, will not give success in it there are so many other factors which we have to check so everybody will have some combination or the other but to the degree you have these combinations to that degree you will realize that uh, i will be successful and i can do good in these areas of life all right so as i said there are many other factors and there are many challenges and difficulties also uh, which everybody has in their lives and this person also had a lot of difficulties and, ch and challenges but uh, at the end of the day this person succeeded uh, and now he has retired and he is he's still doing a lot of innovation and a uh, lot of new uh, new new uh, inventions i would say you know? and i hope uh, that he continues to do like this and i pray for his good health and that god bestows him spiritual knowledge also along with information technology okay then thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can go to the website down in the description section of my videos god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much